Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Last time we got the special sparkle powder that we're going to go ahead and put on Lysandus' uh, we'll say grave, tomb, uh, on his remains to uh, supposedly we'll say calm him. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and travel to Menevia. I remembered, I was looking at my notes, I'm like, it was somewhere in Menevia, wasn't it? And I remember it's being right on the map right here. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel to Lysandus' tomb. It's going to take us two days. Let me see here. Hmm. Actually, I'm thinking about this. Wait a minute. What if I turn into a werewolf while I'm in there? How long has it been I, I since I transformed? I don't remember. You know what? Let's take the, let's, let's, let's chance it. Let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and uh, travel there. Try to... Keep the travel time kind of short, two days, and head over to Lysandus' tomb. You're too late. I gave the job to some spell sword. What? And now I'm a werewolf. All right, so things are going bad already. <laughs> wow! Uh, you know, it wouldn't be Daggerfall if, it, if the game just, just didn't want to um, screw with us a little bit. Um... So now apparently we're a spell uh, where we are a werewolf and we need to feed. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's that um, that period, that time of uh, the the moon cycle that uh, basically causes me to need to feed, or if it's just because I haven't eaten in a while. So I don't know. I, I think I think I may have gotten. A, I have no idea what the heck's going on. So I remember last time I came here, I could not find the tomb either. I was running around in circles and trying to find find the place, and I found it this time. Look at that! Look how huge this sucker is. I don't know how I could have missed that. Okay, can I transform back to normal? Let me see. I am I have normalized myself again. Let me see. What is my health at? One nineteen. I don't think that has gone down. I don't think. Let's just see if I transform back. If I yeah, I transform back. So it, it's just a, a day specific thing. So we'll save before we go on in. We'll say this as a uh, dungeon 11, just because that's a consecutive number that comes after and we're going into a dungeon, so. We are now within Lysandus' tomb and we need to find his remains. Wow, this is kind of cool looking. Nice, something, something different to look at. Uh, since we're at the entrance of this dungeon though, let's go ahead and cast a tropolet. We'll set up an anchor so we can teleport ourselves out of here when we are done. Let's go ahead and save the game now that we're in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and, well, I don't know, this, is, this was working 30. Let's go ahead and save this one as working 31. So, working 31. I actually did that without looking. Go me. All right. I I'm actually, I, I can't access my inventory. Darn it. I wanted to make sure that I load. I'm pretty sure I loaded the right save, right? The Yes, right there. Majora has given me a powder that will soothe the spirit of life and his spirit. However, it will not lay his shade to rest, but only calm it. Now I need only to find his tomb and use it. All right, so we found his tomb. Now we just need to find his body so we can use it. What have we got up on the, the walls here? We've got some, um... What, what kind of creatures are do, do are here, you know? Uh, I, that looks kind of orcish, but there's some other creatures here. Uh, this one here I'm not familiar with. I don't know what this is. Interesting. And we've got almost like an Egyptian style thingamabob <laughs> up there. And it looks like some light radiating out from some source that is not drawn. So I'm going to assume that maybe there was a um, a torch there or I don't know, maybe it's just the light from that, uh, that uh, lamp there. Whatever. Let's go ahead and bust down the door and start sneaking our way through. Now, if I am a werewolf, that's right, I don't have to worry about weapons, uh, which weapon will work and which weapon will not work because uh, my hands, my hands, my claws are registered weapons, as it is. Why am I saving this as end? I don't know. Why am I saving this as end? Uh, I, I don't know. We're going to save it as working. I don't know, I had it in my head that I was, I was going to save the game uh, at the d uh, beginning of the dungeon and then... Then I would have one working, which is kind of what I did because I saved it outside the dungeon, but whatever. All right, let's, uh, so basically we're, we're back to the, uh, the same old grind. Basically the same old deal. Where we go into a dungeon, we walk around slowly, sneaking our way through, killing things that we come across, looting stuff until we finally find our objective. Nothing will look different, nothing, everything will be the same. Or will it? 
I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of hoping that. Never mind. I, I stand myself. I stand corrected already. There's a floating skull. That upon using teleports me somewhere else in the dungeon. Okay. And there's a ghost over here in the corner. Is that a wraith? Looks like a ghost to me. And uh, it's decided to slow me down here, and I'm going to probably die here. Wow, these these claws, they do nothing. These are some terrible weapons. You know, I was liking the werewolf thing. I was liking it, but you know what? Oh my goodness. Um, I've got 42 points. Let's okay, let's, let's get rid of the lycanthropy. Let's go ahead and steal some stuff. So it's it seems like the lycanthropy, the, the werewolf thing, gives you a good um we'll say I give you a, gives you a good boost early in the game. But it almost seems that by late game or a little bit later on, I find like the 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 um the hand to hand hitting is just not potent, or is it just because my skill is not uh, built up? Let me take a look. Hand to hand is very very terrible. It's fifty one percent. Yeah, maybe maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's just that uh, my hand to hand skill is not developed enough yet, and that's why I'm not doing a lot of damage with it. That's 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 completely a possibility here. So. Nice. I, I I insert my large fingernail into the lock and pick it. I also love that I've got. Is that a status effect or a? Uh, yeah, my hand is over top of my status effect. So I think that's a yeah. It's a, so, so something's affecting me down in the bottom left corner, but and my claws over top of it. Ah oh, man, that's a great UI designing. You know, let's draw the hands over top of relevant information that you might want. That uh, good job, Bethesda. Good job. You guys made a good game. Wow. All right. So, um, let's just continue marching along here. One thing I liked about the, uh, last, last time, if you, I don't know if you skipped it, uh, skipped it or not, but anyways, last time we read a book about, um, basically about gods and worship in Tamriel. And one of the ideas that was brought up in the book was that the, um, that there were these, uh, these other, these creatures, these, these sort of spiritual beings that became, um, more powerful with, you know, with, with worship and stuff like that. And then it, uh, you know, there was various little theories that were uh, presented within the book, like, um, you know, perhaps these are simply gods in their base state and gods just gain that power from the worship. And I, I find that to be a very interesting idea that there are, there could be, you know, various creatures that, um, that become more powerful based on, uh, we'll say the the amount of, of we'll say worshippers they have and and that so wow I, d I didn't even one shot the rat this is that's that's pretty pathetic so I, I like that idea I was I was thinking about that and I was uh, I'm like that would be a fun idea to explore you know that uh, and I'm not sure if it's something that has been explored uh, later on like in, in the Elder Scrolls series I know um, you know we, like in later games it's a little bit more. Defined, we get stuff, you know, like the the, the Deidre. We get, uh, well, like, there's Deidre in this game, um, but I find, you know, as you go on later in the later games, the lore becomes a little bit more concrete. It becomes a little bit more um, solidified, and it, it sort of becomes more of what it is. Uh, and in Daggerfall, you, it's it's very much so the we'll say the early days uh, of the the lore in in uh, in Tamriel or in the Elder Scrolls series in general. So. I, I don't know if that is uh, addressed later on in the series. That's actually something that I would like to maybe investigate in the games, try to, you know, do some research, try to scrounge around for books and stuff to see if I can... Okay, so we've got uh, something down there. We're going to just try to dr jump across. And we did so. That's, that's pretty good. Good job, good job, me, on jumping. You're like a jumping master. S skulls are scaring me. Like I'm like, I'm going to try... Activating them, I'm trying to using them, but I'm scared they're gonna send me off to another part of the dungeon. You know, for like Sanus's tomb, I was expecting you know some really bad monsters, some scary things, but so far all we've gotten is ghosts and rats. And now, knock on wood, I probably jinxed the whole thing, and I'm going to be running into like liches every second turn now. But yeah, that's something I would like to see explored a little bit more about the idea of you know uh, these 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 beings that have uh, that ability to vary so greatly in power, you know, just based on uh, the amount of worship. And I don't think that's actually something that is touched on, uh, you know, any further later on in the, the Elder Scrolls series. 
Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I actually, I, I really hope I'm wrong because I'd love to go ahead and find those books and stuff in the later games. Um, but as far as my memory recalls, which, I, hey, as, as we've established, is absolutely terrible, uh, I don't seem to recall that ever coming up in, um, in, in any of the later games. So, but then again, then again, technically, at this point, I have probably played um, Arena and Daggerfall more than I have played uh, Oblivion and Skyrim. Yeah, and technically, actually, even even my time in wow, in, in uh, oh, we've got a uh, is that a what is that a zombie? I can't remember. I can't remember what that is. I think it's a, ow, dude, cool it. That hurt. Dang. Okay, he's hurting me bad. I gotta. I'm gonna have to heal in a second. There we go. Zombie just died. Of course, I can't loot anything. Because I'm stuck in this stupid form. All right, let's go ahead and uh, change forms again, just so I can loot the body. The body has no treasure. Of course, it doesn't. Uh, but yeah. So basically, my um, as I've mentioned countless times before, and you're probably tired of me talking about it, but um, even in the, 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 well, say, hundreds of hours that I've put into Morrowind, uh, I've actually explored very little of the game. <laughs> that's that's going to sound weird. Morrowind, I've said, is my absolute favorite game in the, the like, in, in the entire world. It's my favorite game ever. And yet, I have uh, done, I've never finished the main quest. I have actually completed very few of the guild quest, like, uh, com entire quest lines. Um, because I've spent most of my time in that game, honestly, just randomly running around exploring and stuff which is very interesting it's a it's really interesting to think about that you know that there's a game that you can do that in um and have that many hours of enjoyment just not even questing like i, I i'm sorry i have done quests i've explored a lot of different facets about, about the game a lot of different um things about it so uh, i i guess i'm kind of selling myself a little bit short on we'll say how knowledgeable i am about it but at the same time most of my time was spent just experiencing the world and not so much, um, you know, entire quest lines. So, in, in, in a way, it's kind of great because I know that when I start doing the Let's Play of that series, I'm going to have a lot to experience uh, while still it's still being enti entirely familiar to me. Uh, but yeah, my point, the point of that entire tangent was to explain that uh, while I collected a ton of books, I didn't read all of them that I came across in Morrowind at the time. Um, so, you know, there's a chance that I, that they might be covered in the later games that I just didn't pick up on. So, so when I say that uh, I don't think that that element has been, let's say, expressed or explored in later Elder Scrolls games, uh, I could be completely wrong. So, please, please go ahead and correct me. Oh. <laughs> the rat butt scared me. I walked through the door. There was a rat butt, and it was terrifying. Actually, really, I was like, I didn't know what I was looking at. If it had been facing me, I'd be like, oh, it's a rat. But no, it wasn't facing me, so all I see is this little brown thing on the ground. And, was, ah! and that, that squeak, surprisingly, startled me. All right, so let's go on down these stairs and see what lies deeper within this... Dungian. I do like that they are, uh, they've are they got stuff in the way, they got stuff, uh, looks like there was some, a rock on the ground earlier that we had to sort of walk over, um, there's some planks of wood here that are blocking the path. These are all things we've seen before in uh, the dungeons, however, uh, they, they haven't been laid out in quite that way before, I haven't seen them in these kind of hallways, and I think that's, you know, I, I think I would have been happy with this game a little bit more had there been maybe one more. Oh, this is this is a death trap Just waiting. Yeah, I'm gonna die in here. So let's go ahead and maybe use some uh, let's use some magic to uh, s survive. Oh yeah, that that was great. That was great, Jason. Well, the zombie just died. Dang. Okay, that was uh, that was a, a, a killer fireball. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let's try paralysis this time. Uh, no, that's that's not going to work. Come on, I, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. It's funny. I, I take my transform state, and now I'm feeling worried for my life. 
Whereas, we'll say earlier in the game, you know, it'd be like, Oh yeah, I'm a werewolf, I'm gonna like smoke everyone. Holy crap, I'm gonna die! And as I was looking away to reach for my, my, my Yuki, uh, he died. So, that's good. Alright, he doesn't know I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna stay way back in the corner, and hopefully my fireball will not catch me in the blast as well. Let's try this again. Uh, where are you? Blazing icon of fireballs. Hey, that was good. Is this save versus spell made? Really, can you save against the fireball? Oh crap, he's coming. He's coming. Ah, uh, come on, come on. He's gotta be weak. He's gotta be weak. Those fireballs hit pretty hard. Okay, dang. <sighs> okay, now that I've, everything's been slain, I'm gonna quickly change back and then loot everything. Uh, Bonnie has no treasure. Alright, fine, we'll just grab the stuff on the floor here. Uh, gold- 12 whole gold pieces. And a holy dagger. Well, we're definitely gonna be taking the holy dagger. We'll take the gold pieces just because, hey, why not? Uh, anything else of value here? No? What about you? Are you- are you a value? <laughs> uh, 84 gold pieces. Now, this is interesting. Uh, it's- We've got rats and zombies in this dungeon. Oh! Dang! There's a, a zombie thing in that in that in that in the box. <laughs> that startled me. Oh man, you know I find it so interesting. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe that's not true. I was about to make about to make a statement that I, I think is probably completely incorrect. Um, I was gonna say you know I, I think I, I've gotten more scared from like Daggerfall and some of these old games than I have from playing like legitimate horror games and. Maybe that's a little bit unfair to say. It's, um... I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of like a, one of those yes and no answers. Like, yes, I probably have gotten more scared from these games than I have from horror games. But, is it because of, we'll say, a difference of expectation? Maybe, maybe saying that is not the same as saying that these games are scarier than horror games. You go into a horror game expecting to be scared, and as such, your guard is up a little bit more. Whereas, when you're playing... You know, uh, I, I game maybe that's a little bit more of an action game, and you get something that kind of startles you. Uh, you know, it's something a little bit different. You're not expecting it. It, uh, it you know, it catches you off guard, which, which is is tough because then, then I started thinking, you know, maybe I should uh, play fear. I've heard fear is kind of has that formula. <laughs> he was hiding under the table, crafty rat. So, you know, I thought about that. I was like, well, maybe I'll go ahead and play Fear, because I have all the Fear games, and I've never played them. I, I played the first one a little bit on the channel, um, way back, uh, and I, uh, I, I, I made, I kind of joked about it, because I, I was able to predict a lot of the scares, but I was going into it thinking it was a, a horror game, so maybe it wouldn't work. Maybe because I, I'd be going into it expecting it to be a horror game, it just wouldn't work. So maybe the best scares to be found in gaming are not in games that are, uh, we'll say, advertised or expected to be scary, but rather, we'll say, mundane or maybe not maybe mundane, we'll say other experiences that just happen to throw in um, horror elements. Maybe if fear had not been called fear. Imagine if, like, fear was called, like, Puppies and Kittens, the game. Then I don't think it would have sold as well, but it wouldn't, it would have been a lot scarier. I would have been like, oh, Puppies and Kittens the game, and then I would have been playing it, and then I would have been terrified. I don't know. I, I, you know, I've been wanting to play Fear for a while. I, I hear that, that the um, the first game, especially, is particularly good. So, anyone have any opinions on that? The uh, the original uh, Fear, the the first person shooter that released to, that I, uh, in, in a previous year. <laughs> Very specific, Jason. Lots of information there. I don't remember what year it was released in. I just remember that. Uh, well, it's oh, it's old enough that I think it needs a. A patch or something to fit into widescreen because it's still at what four by three uh, uh, aspect ratio. So that that should give you a, a kind of an idea of how old of a game it is. You know, it's the same kind of deal as uh, as Daggerfall here. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Is that something that would be um, you'd be interested in seeing? See, I, I like playing a variety of games, as, as I'm sure many of you already know. But um, I know a lot of people pro came here for. Um, Arma, but then my computer went and basically I was unable to play Arma for them anymore, which made me very sad and uh, uh, understandably them as well. Um, 
But then, uh, you know, I, I, I was doing my Elder Scrolls playthrough as well, and that brought some people as well, so I've got a lot of people who like the Elder Scrolls, but basically, I like playing a variety of games, new and old. I, uh, I The other day, I got referred to as, um, someone referred to me as a retro gamer, and I was like, well, I do like retro games, I do like playing a lot of um, older games. But I'm not sure how I feel about the, the, the being labeled specifically a retro gamer. It's, it's, more, it's more like I play retro games because my, my, my computer is terrible and if I try to play something anything better, uh, it will just collapse and die. Uh, so there's that and then there's also... What the heck was that? Okay. Um, you know, it, it, I do still like, uh, we'll say retro games, but I like playing new games as well. So it's, it's, it's interesting that there's a label to someone who plays retro games, but what if someone plays, like, I don't exclusively play retro games, you know, uh, I do play a lot of newer games, uh, when they run on my PC, I'll play them, when I play, I, I'll also play them on my, on my consoles, because my consoles are a lot more stable, and they don't blue screen like my PC does all the time, um, so, it's like, do, am I, am I a retro gamer? I, I, I prefer the term maybe more of a, we'll say, um, I, I don't even like that, that term either. I, I prefer to think of my taste as being less retro and being more timeless. I will play anything at any time. So old games, new games, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. I will play them regardless of when they were made. Um, you, usually my choices are defined by, we'll say, the restraints, the, the, the limitations I have, uh, you know, hardware-wise. I'd love to go ahead and play a ton of console games. I've got a, 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 a nice library of console games that I would love to play. However, uh, I don't have any means to record them. Uh, and uh, I could get it, but f I'm kind of prioritizing getting myself a decent PC setup. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I didn't see you, Mr. Ghost. So anyways, uh, so I'm prioritizing, um, you know, my PC setup before I get into sort of, uh, the hardware to record my console stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I wouldn't refer to myself so much as a retro gamer as I would refer to myself as just someone who likes anything and everything. And time is not really a, uh, doesn't even factor into the equation. I'm gonna go ahead and heal because I think one good hit from him will take me out. Uh, it's it's not likely he would have taken me out in one hit, but there's a, there's a chance that yeah he would have gotten a good solid hit on me. <sighs> I keep wanting to loot, but it seems like uh, the um, I don't know like the the leveling table or something in this uh, in this dungeon seems to be a little bit messed up. I'm I'm fighting a lot of really weak enemies, uh, so I'm I'm wondering is this just a static dungeon or is um is like is is nothing in this dungeon catered to my level i i don't understand why uh, i'm fighting weaker enemies is is, is just this this how the the dungeon was designed to have these kinds of um these kinds of enemies i'm, I'm not too sure but anyways uh back to my other my other point yeah if uh like I, I like playing all kinds of games and i feel like i haven't had a uh, shooter you know, on on my channel in a little while, and since uh, you know, Arma kind of filled that. I I don't really view Arma as a a shooter. Uh, you know, would that be something you'd be interested in? And of course, this would be done in tandem. It would be done at the same time as the Elder Scrolls. Uh, the Elder Scrolls. Oh, that's that's something I want to address. I've gotten a lot of comments, a lot of questions about Battle Spire and Red Guard. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. What the stupid rat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and settle this. Um, let's settle this. Um, I, when I first started this, there's a video I, I made when I first got the Elder Scrolls Anthology where I kind of reviewed the, uh, the the box, the game, and, uh, you know, I was talking about it, the maps in it. I, I kind of gave, gave it sort of a quasi-review, and then at the end of it, I made a pledge that I was going to play through that box, that the entire Elder Scrolls Anthology, and that's what I was going to go ahead and, I was going to go ahead and play that. Now, uh, while I do have Battlespire and Redguard, and I do plan on playing them, the original pledge was to play through the entire anthology in chronological order. And when I say that I want to do something, I want to do that, and I want to do it the way that I said I was going to do it. So, I will not be- what the heck? What the heck hit me? Oh, you sneaky ghost. 
Um, oh, and I have no magic left. Okay, excellent. We'll have to re re resort to um, our enchanted items here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal ourselves. And then we're going to go ahead. And I think we've got something that will help us break free of paralysis. Uh, what is it? I don't know what it is. Evening gown. Crap. I can't remember. And I, I can't, I can't actually check my inventory to check the, the details of the items because I'm in the werewolf form. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, unrestrainable dagger, I think that's it. Spell effect failed. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, now, now we're free. So anyways, uh, I, I fully plan on playing through Battlespire and Redguard. However, um, since I was originally planning on just doing the mainline games, the next game I play will be Morrowind. I'm not, I'm not budging on that. Um, if that, that, if that disappoints you, I'm sorry. Like I said, I will be getting to Battlespire and Redguard. It is something I want to do. Um, but when I set expectations, I, 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 I want to sort of follow through with those expectations. And the expectations were, uh, you know, Arena, Daggerfall, uh, Morrowind, uh, Oblivion, Skyrim, and somewhere in there, I might, like I said, I might do them at the same time. Uh, I might do Battlespire and Redguard. Yeah, let me see here. I might do them at the same time. I might, you know, I might only do them after Skyrim. Uh, it, it all depends on uh, a lot of factors. Actually, you know, I probably won't wait until after Skyrim. So, I might, uh, might throw them on my channel as a kind of, uh, um, an infrequent, or, or not, sorry, with an, an, an irregular uh, playthrough. So, it, it will be coming. It's just that I am not, it's not going to be prioritized over Morrowind. After Daggerfall, we are going into Morrowind, and that's that. Um, but I, 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 I still, I still thank you for um, expressing to me, you know, your desire to see those games, because uh, that does tell me that people want to see those games, which means I'm we're gonna move it up on my list of when I get to it. So I will be playing Battlespire and Redguard. It will be on my channel, but it won't be it won't be done instead of Morrowind. It will be done either like I said, on its own or something or you know, in in, in tangent, something like that. Am I even using that correctly? In tangent? Tandem. Tandem, I think, is the word I'm trying to use. Man, I, I wish I had a dictionary right next to me. Because, you know, it's not like I'm connected to the internet or anything. I can just look up words whenever I need to. Uh, I, actually, the truth is, the truth is um, if editing the video wasn't such a pain, I probably would stop every time I, I used a word that I wasn't sure if I used it correctly, and I would go look it up. But uh, editing is, unfortunately, a pain, so I'm going to avoid... Uh, avoid looking that up right now and then I'll forget to look it up for next time and I'll, I'll, I'll just continue to look like a dumb so if you want me to be properly educated if you want me to not sound like an idiot then it is your duty to go ahead and correct me because heaven knows I'm probably not going to be, be able to do it myself all right my stamina is getting a little low I could go ahead and use uh, an item or a potion or I could rest and I like the idea of resting because I'm also low on magic but I don't think I uh, am in a safe area. No, there's enemies nearby. There's always enemies nearby. All right, let's try to clear this area out because I'm really... Oh, there's a ghost right here. I didn't even see you. Oh, successful backstab with my claws. All right, the ghost just died. Please let me rest in here. I don't hear anything except for myself. Will, would, would, would I wake myself as a werewolf? Rest. Yes. Get myself at least my stamina up here. There we go. My stealth backstabbing hand ham critical strike all went up. Nice. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, continue this probably actually next time. I am actually out of time for today. So, we're going to go ahead and stop things here. This is a fairly uh, beefy dungeon. Look at the size of this thing. I think we're going to be here for a little while. Uh, it, things will probably just start dropping the second I can, um, transform back into my, my, oh, I almost said human, my elf, elven form, and start slaying things with my swords. Um, but since that's not going to, probably not going to happen for, like, another day, let me see what time is it. 11.29, no, we just started this day, so we're here for a little while. Anyways, let's go ahead and save the game, end 31. 
Um, if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.